Imagine traveling 10,000 years into the future. What would our planet look like then? Could colossal volcanoes dominate their landscape? Would a significant portion be submerged in vast oceans? Or the Earth wouldn't even exist? Now, imagine a billion years in the future. Absolutely, it's mind-boggling to think about Earth's journey over its 4.5 billion years of existence. When our planet formed, it was a scorching hot orb submerged in molten magma. But as time passed, over hundreds of millions of years, it began to cool, and that's when liquid water filled the surface, creating the oceans. In the early days, heavy elements floated on the bizarre Earth's surface. However, as things settled, they started sinking past the oceans and magma making their way toward the center. This process led to the layering of Earth with a solid outermost layer made of relatively light material while denser substances found their place at the planet's core. It's a fascinating tale of planetary formation. Now, fast forward to a distant future, say one billion years from now. The prospect of humans still existing at that point is indeed a slim one. The journey of our planet involves myriad changes and challenges, and over such an immense time frame, the fate of humanity becomes uncertain. It's a reminder of the incredible scale of time and the dynamic nature of our planet's evolution. In the grand scheme of our evolution, there are myriad challenges looming over the human race, climate change, overpopulation, the unpredictability of celestial bodies like asteroids and comets, the ebb and flow of ice ages, and the sun's relentless increase in intensity. Now, let's indulge in a bit of imagination. Picture yourself armed with a time machine, hurtling through the ages to catch glimpses of Earth's destiny a billion years from now. First stop, a mere 10,000 years into the future. One striking change is the homogenization of humanity. Regional genetic differences, like variations in skin tone, hair, and eye color, have blended into a global spectrum. It's an intriguing shift towards a more unified appearance. Fast forward to 20,000 years ahead and you're in for a linguistic surprise. None of the current languages are recognizable. Communication has evolved so drastically that the language spoken retains merely 1% of today's vocabulary. It's a testament to the ever-changing nature of human expression. Now, let's leap 50,000 years ahead and a chilling realization sets in, a new ice age has descended. Iconic landmarks like Niagara Falls have eroded and to add a cosmic twist, a day on Earth has stretched by an extra second. The planet, in its slow dance through time, has undergone subtle yet impactful transformations. As you venture a quarter of a million years into the future, you observe shifts in the landscape. New islands have emerged, altering the familiar contours of places like Hawaii. But, alas, your journey takes a dark turn at the half-million-year mark. Fires rage uncontrollably and the air becomes nearly unbreathable. The culprit? A colossal asteroid, an unavoidable catastrophe that humanity failed to avert. Undeterred, you set your time machine for a million years hence. This time, it's a colossal supervolcano that steals the show. Erupting with ferocity, it spews ash, filling the Grand Canyon with its mighty flows. The resilience of the planet and its capacity for cataclysmic events come into sharp focus. Now, two million years into the future, humans have dispersed, establishing settlements across the solar system. Adaptation becomes the key theme as bodies evolve to suit the unique conditions of various planets and moons. Fast forward to 50 million years in the future, and Earth is still undergoing transformative changes. A massive portion of eastern Africa has broken off, creating a new ocean basin. Africa has collided with Eurasia, sealing off the Mediterranean Sea. Between these colossal land masses, a new mountain range, surpassing even Mount Everest in height, has emerged. Adding to the celestial spectacle, Mars has collided with its moon, now boasting a chic ring system akin to Saturn. Next, a pit stop 600 million years ahead reveals a cosmic event, a gamma-ray burst, transpiring some 6,500 light-years away from Earth. Thankfully, our planet has dodged this celestial bullet. Otherwise, the protective ozone layer would have dissipated, spelling a catastrophic mass extinction. In this distant future, the Moon has distanced itself so far from Earth that total solar eclipses are but a distant memory. Finally, your temporal journey concludes at Earth's destination one billion years from now. Stepping out, you're met with a staggering revelation. The once vibrant planet has transformed into a desolate desert. Carbon dioxide levels have plummeted drastically, bringing an end to photosynthesis. Free oxygen and ozone have vanished from the atmosphere, extinguishing complex life. The sun's luminosity, increased by 10%, has driven average temperatures to double their present levels, creating an atmosphere akin to a vast, humid greenhouse. Surveying the barren landscape, you realize that human presence is a relic of the past. 
By this era, humans have wisely ventured beyond Earth, colonizing distant planets and galaxies. In the face of an inhospitable homeworld, leaving seems like the only rational choice. The center of the Milky Way is a tale of intense radiation, gravity, and mystery, an arena where the forces of nature are tested to their limits. But what if our very own planet found itself in this cosmic theater? What would happen if Earth were situated there and somehow managed to endure? Let's embark on this journey to the heart of our galaxy and unravel the possibilities. Imagine this, you're suspended in space, surrounded by billions and billions of stars. Suddenly, you spot a luminous swirling mass of gas and dust in the distance. That, my friend, is the Milky Way galaxy, the abode within the vast expanse of the universe. The Milky Way boasts over 100 billion stars and spans about 100,000 light years across. To put it plainly, if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would take you a whopping 100,000 years to traverse the Milky Way from end to end. That's a couple of trillions of miles. But it's not merely a static collection of stars and gas, it's a dynamic, evolving system. Currently hurtling through space at approximately 1.3 million miles per hour, the Milky Way is a marvel in motion. One of the galaxy's most captivating features is its shape, a spiral galaxy resembling a disk with a central bulge and spiral arms. These arms, where new stars are born, concentrate the most stars, gas, and dust. And it's in these arms that our solar system finds its place, a tiny speck in the grand cosmic tapestry of the Milky Way. Situated about 26,000 light years away from the galactic center, our solar system is also in motion orbiting around the galactic center. It takes roughly 230 million years for our system to complete one orbit around the galaxy. Just envision this, since the time of the dinosaurs, we've covered only a quarter of this vast cosmic journey. The solar system's position in the galaxy significantly influences our lives. Factors such as radiation exposure, cosmic rays, and the probability of asteroid impacts are shaped by our galactic location. And thanks to this unique positioning, we get to savor some truly breathtaking views of the universe around us. Now, let's zoom in on star clusters with breathtaking detail. Our cosmic neighborhood is quite happening, surrounded by numerous stars and planets, making us rather fortunate beings. But let's indulge in a little imagination. What if luck wasn't on our side? What if Earth found itself at the center of the Milky Way? The center of the Milky Way hosts a space region known as the Central Bulge, densely populated with stars. Picture it like a colossal disco ball spanning about 10,000 light years in diameter. However, this disco ball is adorned with stars instead of shiny mirrors. This central region is no ordinary place. It's filled with extreme environments that could make even the bravest astronauts shiver. High energy particles and intense magnetic fields could wreak havoc on electronics and spacecraft. The radiation fields are so intense that they could fry anything in their path. Clearly, not the friendliest place for life as we know it. Now, let's explore some potential effects if Earth were located closer to the center of the Milky Way. Firstly, radiation. As mentioned earlier, the center is one of the most radiation-dense regions in the galaxy. Life on Earth would face significant challenges, if not impossibilities. Despite Earth's magnetic field acting like a giant shield protecting us from outer space radiation, it's unlikely to hold up against the intense radiation near the Milky Way's center. It's akin to using a tiny umbrella to shield yourself from a massive storm, a scenario where the galaxy would easily triumph. But it's not all gloom and doom. Some resilient organisms on Earth have adapted to high levels of radiation. Life on our planet has proven its ability to survive in diverse environments, from the ocean depths to the icy poles. So, even in the face of challenges, life has shown remarkable adaptability. Now, let's take a wild trip into the realm of imagination and ponder what would happen if we evolved to survive in the harsh conditions of the Milky Way's center. Envision humans with tough, scaly skin acting as a shield against radiation and plants with unique structures thriving in the bright environment. However, even in this scenario, radiation could still have some eerie effects. It might damage DNA, causing mutations that lead to strange features in plants, animals, and even humans. Think five-leaved plants, animals with oddly colored fur, or people with unique eye colors. Moreover, metabolic changes might occur. Our bodies could process food and resources more rapidly, resulting in faster growth rates and larger sizes. Picture towering, thick plants, and animals of colossal proportions. Some Earth organisms adapted to high radiation can bioluminesce. In this scenario, imagine a nighttime forest glowing with an eerie blue or green light, frightening and astonishing at the same time. Now, let's shift our focus to gravity. 
At the center of the Milky Way lies a superassive black hole, Sagittarius A, about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. If we manage not to get swallowed or crushed, we'd face intense gravity causing frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It would be like an epic surfing competition every day with the added thrill of risking your life. Gravity doesn't just mess with physical objects, it plays with time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time passes more slowly in areas of high gravity. Earthlings near the center would age more slowly than those farther away. The center is a bustling hub with stars, planets, and celestial objects moving at incredible speeds. Navigation would be a nightmare, constant changes in the positions of stars and unreliable GPS due to strong gravitational forces and high radiation. Getting lost in a glow-in-the-dark forest with creepy animals? Good luck. But it's not all bleak. The center hosts molecular clouds, birthing grounds for new stars, and offers breathtaking sights like the Orion Nebula and the Eagle Nebula. If Earth were at the center, we'd have a front-row seat to these spectacular cosmic events. In conclusion, if Earth were at the center of the Milky Way, it would be a vastly different place, challenging our understanding of life. Though it's a fascinating thought experiment, let's appreciate the calm of our small, quiet solar system.